Animals may look cute and cuddly, but they are vicious fighting machines. They'll fart, crush, and consume. Welcome to the top 10 animal fights I just found. I've got to come clean about something. This never actually happened. I photoshopped it for the thumbnail. Deal with it. In many ways though, it counts as a bonus fight because it can be a fight in your mind. Just use your mental imaging faculties. These stripy tree cats are having a domestic over a branch. Barry, you cretin, step away from the stick. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, Phil? What are you gonna do about it? It loves it. Don't touch your stick. Oh, it loves it. Leave it, Barry. Ooh. Face facts, Phil. Your stick loves me. Loves me. But I should leave it. Phil, I make love to your stick every night. It loves it. It loves it. I make love to it now. Oh, God, look at me, Phil. Look, look at love to your stick. Barry, you can never give what I can. When the pair over here a stick being snapped in the distance, they stop the fight as a mark of respect. These are two Shaolin monks who have agreed to put on a fight in Kung Fu style <sighs> to eager-eyed onlookers. All is going to plan and the two plod around in ritual until disaster strikes and the monk on the right takes a cheap shot. The pair can be seen brawling here. It gets so bad that the ghost of Kung Fu Panda himself has to step in and calls the fight to a close. Ashamed, the pair disperse and cower behind a shrub. After a heavy night in the park, this pooch pesters a feline for a smooch. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. I'm not giving you a kiss, Pete. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Right, one kiss. Now do one. This tree cam has captured the nail biting moments a deer and a stripy tree cat have found a load of nuts or food on the floor at the same time. The deer does not want to share, sources suggest, and says to the stripy tree cat, do one, which he doesn't. He brings his mates back one night and they feast on the deer's food. The deer recognizes this and, and says, right, Bernard, we're having none of that. Do not pass this line, I'm drawing in the dirt. All right, I don't want to see it happen. All right, and to teach you a lesson, take that. This is a uniquely dear punishment. The cats do not listen. They return with a vengeance and bright eyes. The deer fends them off as best he can. <laughs> it's a peculiar punishment indeed for the stripy tree cats. And they retaliate with pissing all over the floor. All over the deer's floor, all over the food, all over their own food, in fact. No one knows quite why they did this. Any naturalists out there, let me know. Any naturists, also let me know. Eventually, the group find peace. This is more a battle of the minds. This is more psychological warfare than a physical fight. But it's noteworthy nonetheless. Here, a rhino is attacked by some kind of motorized zebra with four wheels. The rhino rightly attacks it back. You know, he's never seen a zebra this aggressive before, or who makes this much of a sound, or sounds this much like a Volkswagen. You, you know, you can't blame the rhino here for being a little bit bewildered. This is really a case of skin versus silver, of horn versus headlamp, and wits versus windpipe. Sources indicate there is somebody in the car. We can't speculate on who. On, on, on Hugh or who it is in the car. The man may be called Hugh, if we don't know. If you thought one robot zebra was enough, think again. Another robot zebra turns up and saves its mate. Now, we all know a rhino can take on one robot zebra, but two is too much for anyone. There goes Hugh. He's exited the vehicle. Now, this is the most obscure game of tag or it I've ever seen. It may be a, a random event on an obscure lion game show, but either way, it has not ended well for the lion. Less of a fight, more of a drowning session or a baptism. But the lion has escaped. The lion is not becoming a Christian today and proceeds to hop away. Speaking of hopping, here are some frogs. 
Chilling in the mud, cooling down, or catching a tan. The jury's out. But here comes trouble, is all I can say. This is a snake, and he's got the frog, he's got him by the leg. The snake could be French. His name could be Pierre, um, Rupert, or Croissant. It's one of the three. If you see this snake, let us know. Now, rumours also suggest that the snake, the snake did this for a dare. He said, I bet you cannot, his mate said, I bet you cannot get a frog's leg in your mouth. He said, just watch me. The frog also thinks it's a joke until the snake goes one, one step too far, which is something the frog can obviously no longer do himself. This is no longer snake and frog foreplay. This is full-blown frog consumption. He's just put his fang through his eye. And the frog and the snake have formed some kind of frog, snake, lizard hybrid. Snake with arms. Stupidly, the snake swallows the arms and shuffles off. You should have kept them. They would look cool. I don't know what's going on here, to be honest. I think some hyenas are bullying a lion or something. The one thing you know is, if you're, if you're a pack of hyenas and you're bullying a lion, you should count your lucky stars. You should watch your back. It's not a game, or maybe it is a game, maybe they're just having a cuddle. <laughs> Give us a cuddle! Wow, we got a birthday beats. It might be birthday beats. Either way, other lions get involved. They don't know it's birthday beats. They start biting the hyenas, and it all gets just a bit out of hand. A bit out of court. These are dramatic scenes on the African Savannah Plain. If I were there, if you were there, if anyone were there, it would be shakes on a plane. Needless to say, the lions had the last laugh here. If you've ever seen a banana in the mouth of an orangutan and thought, I fancy that, think again. This little fool has done it for you. And we see what happens. Let's have a replay of that here. Oh, I want some of that banana mush. Give me some of that mush. Oh, not today, cowboy. I don't know what to make of this, but it's brilliant. This is a, a, an African bull toad or something, or some kind of frog thing versus an African huntsman spider. There's Africans somewhere in these species. Now, the frog has to bite the spider's legs off one leg at a time. It's like he's Mario and he's got to knock the spines off Bowser or something. I don't know if that ever ha actually happened. It's like a boss battle in my eyes, this interaction. The spider is currently rocking four legs. The frog is going ape mental. He's wearing the leg like a whisker, gobbling it down, and the spider is now a three-legged creature. This is brutal. Polytoad making light work of the sixth leg there. <laughs> Look at the spider. Jesus. Jesus would not be proud. And there it goes. Again, less of a fight. More of a more of a culling. An Edward culling. An Edward. See ya. If you've made it this far, oh boy, you're in for a treat. If you do all this stuff here that I spend hours animating, like it, subscribe it, bell thing it, and leave your email address in the comments, I'll send the first five subscribers from this video a literal Mars bar in the post alright so get on it